embrace the snow. It's hard sometimes when you can't even enjoy that because the temperatures and the wind right. chills are low. Now it's bearable, but you really just kind of have to prepare. Temperatures today, we had 26 for a high. That was shortly after midnight. Our temperatures have been falling. We reached 17 degrees just after 10 a.m. 32 and 19 are our average highs and lows. And remember, January, we have the coldest average highs and lows. So once we get through January, we're kind of on the upswing, so to speak. But 60, believe it or not, a record high back in 1907. So what we're tracking, just another cold night, leftover lake effect snow showers winding down. We're going to have a few days to start the week with below average temperatures, but we're going to start to gradually work our way back to 40 degrees. We know how this winter has been really up and down, and we've had more ups than downs overall. Looking at that lake effect snow machine over Lake Huron at this point, Port Sanilac to Port Huron and moving a little bit further inland as well. And this will be about it. This is the kind of the tail end of these lake effect snow showers, so to speak. But 19 degrees in Ann Arbor, a few flurries around Adrian, light snow shower around Monroe. Temperatures right now upper teens to around 20 degrees. I showed you earlier about 15 degrees colder than yesterday at this time. That northwest wind doing it about 5 to 10 mile per hour winds is all it takes to push these wind chill temperatures down. Feels like seven in Pontiac, nine in Ann Arbor. Feels like nine degrees downtown and only 10 in Windsor. And we're going to notice these wind chills dropping down, as I mentioned, too. Zero to even below zero. Look at our temperature, 17 degrees by 11 o'clock. Clouds decreasing. When we have the clouds around in the winter, it kind of helps keep those temperatures up just a little bit. And we're going to lose that cloud cover and our temperatures will tank. 12 for a low tonight, 15 by 10 a.m. And uh, it's not going to be a huge improvement either <laughs> as we go through the day tomorrow. See how cold it gets by 5 a.m. Our wind chills right around zero in the city, and the city tends to be milder than any other spot. So that's why I'm saying these wind chills will likely be below zero in a couple of spots. We see some improvement for Tuesday and Wednesday, more so by the end of the week. We start to look at that 8 to 14 day outlook. So what's ahead for the end of January? Climate Prediction Center is saying we get a bit of a warm up. That does include those temperatures above 32, which is an average. So we're talking upper 30s to around 40. Now hold on though, when we look at February, just came out today, the Climate Prediction Center is saying, how about below average temperatures for the month of February and equal chance for precip, which means not leaning either way. But we know when it's colder than average, we tend to see a little bit more snow typically. So temperatures tonight, 12 degrees. It's gonna be a very cold one. Mid 20s for highs tomorrow, despite the sunshine. Upper 20s on Tuesday. We slowly climb out of the big freeze and upper 30s on Thursday. There it is, 41 on Friday. Friday could see a little rain snow mix as we wrap up the week. All right.